Welcome to Prayer in the Spirit of Taze, offered by the Angela Marisi Center for Spirituality, a ministry of the Ursuline Sisters of Louisville, Kentucky. For those of you who are joining us virtually, thank you for your presence in prayer with us. We may not be able to be together in person, but we are certainly together in spirit. On August 6th and 9th, we commemorate the nuclear bombings of Nagasaki and Hiroshima, Japan, that took place some 77 years ago. Horrific events that threaten to repeat themselves even today. We have studied war for much too long, yet Jesus teaches that there is another way. In the story of the Good Samaritan that we will hear in just a bit, we are reminded that everyone is our neighbor. There is no loophole. And the greatest command is to love God, ourselves, each other, and the cosmos. So let us begin our time of prayer together as we always do, remembering that we are God's beloved, that no matter who we are, what we have done or what we have failed to do, God loves us infinitely and without any conditions, and that there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that can separate us from the love of God. This is our hope and our reason to trust. Let's take a moment now to remember that God, God's love for each one of us and for all of creation. I invite you to hear with the ears of your heart now the call to prayer offered by God through the psalmist. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be.
A reading from the Gospel of Luke is taken from the message. Just then, a religion scholar stood up with a question to, te to test Jesus. Teacher, what do I need to get eternal life? He answered, what's written in God's law? How do you interpret it? He said, that you love the Lord your God with all your passion and prayer and muscle and intelligence, and that you love your neighbor as well as you do yourself. Good answer, said Jesus. Do it and you'll live. Looking for a loophole, he asked, and just how would you define neighbor? Jesus answered by telling a story. There was once a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. On the way, he was attacked by robbers. They took his clothes, beat him up, and left him on the side of the road half dead. Luckily, a priest was on his way down the same road. But when he saw him, he angled across to the other side. Then a Levite, a religious man, showed up. He also avoided the injured man. A Samaritan traveling down the road came on him. When he saw the man's condition, his heart went out to him. He gave him first aid, disinfecting and bandaging his wounds. Then he lifted him up onto his donkey, led him to an inn, and made him comfortable. In the morning, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take good care of him. If it costs any more, put it on my bill. I'll pay on my way back. What do you think? Which of the three men became a, man, became a neighbor to the man attacked by robbers? The one who treated him kindly, the religion scholar responded. And Jesus said, go and do the same. The word of God. Thanks be to God.
Through the psalmist, God invites us to be still and know that I am God. During these next 10 minutes of silence, you are invited to quiet the noise of your mind and heart and drop down into that deep place within your soul where God dwells and there to stand before the face of God who is ever present and always loving within you. Or you may choose to ponder a word or phrase or image from the songs or the reading, one that has caught your attention. Allow it to repeat itself within you and fill you as water fills a dry sponge. Then invite this word or phrase to speak to you about your life. What might God be inviting you to through these words? Then respond to God in the quiet of your own heart as you will.
Let us now pray for ourselves and one another, and our response will be, lover of us all, hear our prayers. On August 6th and 9th, we remember the 77th anniversary of the nuclear bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan. We pray that the world will never experience such man-made destruction again. We pray for peace in Ukraine and between China and Taiwan. We pray for peace in our communities, families, and, and our own hearts. Teach us to be peacemakers. We pray, lover of us all, hear our prayer. As we hear and ponder the story of the Good Samaritan, help us to take to heart that there is no loophole to the question, who is my neighbor? We pray for the grace and courage to be as inclusive, hospitable, and accepting as Jesus was. We pray, lover of us all, hear our prayers. Drought, wildfires, floods, and heat waves are the symptoms of the climate crisis that we now face. We pray for all those who lost their lives, family, and friends, homes, and livelihoods. We pray for the wisdom, courage, and strength to make the changes needed so that our planet may heal. We pray Lover of us all, hear our prayers. We pray for all those who suffer and are often neglected, left lying on the side of the road. Those without health insurance, those who live in poverty, the elderly forgotten by their families, the disabled, the addicted, the homeless, and all those living on the margins. Give us eyes that see so that we might see them, ears that hear so that we might hear them, and hearts broken open with compassion that we might serve them. We pray, lover of us all, hear our prayers. Let us now pray together the Lord's Prayer as taken from the New Zealand Book of Common Prayer. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe, the way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In the times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And may our hearts be open to receive the graces of our closing prayer. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May God give us grace never to sell ourselves short. Grace to risk something big for something good. Grace to know the world is now too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. So may God take our minds and think through them. May God take our lips and speak through them. 
and may God take our hearts and set them on fire. Amen.